Uh, Sufyan, why you don't call me? And let us read the verse together. Is that fair, guys? You see here, Muslim, they say things, but they don't dare to call me. You see, if I am lying and you can't prove it, then you will have a victory. So all what you need to do, just give me a text and I will call you right now. Is that fair, people? Is that fair? So either you are a potato, you yourself, you cannot handle the truth, or you are afraid to get me busted. Doesn't make sense you're afraid to get me busted. So all what I'm asking you for, you call me, I will make you read the verses, and you can play my voice saying what I am saying if you want, about chapter 21, verse number 17, and let everybody see. What say you? Do you dare? Or are you afraid if you call me, I will change you from a circle to a square? Do you? Abdul, do you? This is the verse. If we had been wished to take a, a pastime, by the way, what translation you like? Just give me a translation you like so we can put it for you. Guys, this isn't about sex. So it's about what? Had we intended to take a pastime, i.e. a wife, so Allah will marry a wife, but he will not sleep with her. <laughs> Are you there, Abdul? Abdul, Allah will have a wife, but he will not sleep with her. Are you there? Are you there? So who is the one is lying? This is not about sex. So Allah will have wife. He will do what with her? He will play cards? Are you there, Abdul? You could just impress your co, you know, you are lying. This doesn't about sex. So Allah will have a wife and he will not do anything with her. So how he will have a son? It says if you want to have a wife or a son. Before of one of your videos, you said that this is about sex. Why not show the brainwashed followers the real context of the verse? Well, this is here we go. This is your translation. And not only that, I'm going to show you the interpretation for the verse. Is that fair? Is that fair, guys? I will show you the interpretation for the verse. Chapter 21, verse number 17. Here we go. 21, this is your official Islamic website, verse number 17, whatever the Muslim interpretation says, I will accept, no problem, here we go, are you ready brother, are you ready brother, look what it says brother, Allah revealed, this is Tafsir Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet, Allah revealed the following when he said, that the angels of Allah are daughters. If he had wished to find a pastime, if he wished to have, have a daughter, if he wished to have a wife, also if he wished to have a children. If you don't like this translation, we will find it from what? From us, among the million of paradise. So Allah will sleep with the women, the virgin in paradise. Do you see it? This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas. Maybe you don't like Ibn Abbas. He is a stupid like the rest of you. We can change the Jalalain. This is the only two in English here on this website. Here we go. Read with me. Had we desired some diversion that in which provide diversion in the way of a partner or a child, we would have found it with ourselves from among the beautiful eyed Huris or the angels. Are you there? Abdul. So this is what you get from the Abdul. They do not know the religion. We show them what, what, what context you idiot. I'm showing you the interpretation for the verse made by you Muslims. And you keep saying to me, it's not the, the correct. 
the context that Allah is not making everything the virgin. Stupid, this is the interpretation you made. <laughs> is that your interpretation? <laughs> it's not correct that the context is Allah did not make everything as the virgin because he did would have found the virgin in himself. Okay, hold on. Now you are corrupting the Quran. First of all, what he did not make a diversion, you stupid. Secondly, what himself it says from us. He will find the virgin in himself. Allah was going to have sex with himself. Why you don't call me so we can laugh at the statement? You just said, guys, Allah will find the virgin in himself. Can somebody help us, please? Allah will find the virgin in himself. I want you to make a book about it. Can you call me and tell me how Allah will find the virgin in himself? I like it. I really, really like it. Who is a Muslim can solve this? This is stupidity now. Would have found the virgin in himself. What does that mean? You tried to fix it, you made it more blind. Any Abdul? Who's next? I don't accept the Hadith. Hadith is made by people like you. The Quran is not made by people like me. Actually, the Quran cannot be made by people like me. I'm not stupid. Have you ever heard of a God? He say, if we want to find the partner, we will find it with ourselves. Yeah, this is ultimate fart again is calling. Let us call him ultimate fart. <laughs> Yes, ultimate. Hello. Yeah. Hey, ultimate, how are you doing? Yes, you gotta run again. Did, you gotta did, run. Uh, did, you, did you watch the wall behind you? You gotta run from the Quran alone. Did you, did you watch yeah. the wall behind you? We can see a wall, so. Okay, so now, uh, so let us go to the Quran then. Forget about your wall; it's very dirty. No, it's strange. You are following Muhammad, so. You are. Uh, you said I'm going to run from the Quran. Read the verse for us, chapter twenty-one, verse you, seventeen. Twenty-one, seventeen. You always run every time. No yes. exceptions. It is seen, bro. Yeah, it, it one I, night. I, I have it to clean my wall. <laughs> am I not your daddy? Okay, read, read. So, don't, so don't every be, time speak like a man. Move. Otherwise, I will hang up on you. Speak like a man for one time. Did you call me daddy or not? Speak like a man for your lifetime. Once, once at least, be a man. Once. Go. Read the verse, chapter twenty-one, verse seventeen. To 2117, how about to read it? So that, just remember, every time you call me son of Muta. Get lost. Son of Muta. You want to put conditions on me, you potato? Why do you get upset? The Quran says you rent women and pay them wages and do Muta. The same verse. So, according to the Quran, every Muslim is doing when he we have a wife. You call it a wife. You call her a wife, but in fact, she is hired for sex. You pay her wages. This is why it says "lima stamtatun bihi," which means the vagina. So you pay money for enjoying her vagina. And this is where the muta came from. If we search right now, the word muta. Here we go. If I go right now. The same website we were reading from. I mean, it's not me who's saying that. Chapter 4, verse 24. You see the Muslims? My problem with the Muslims, they don't want to believe. They're garbage. This is your religion. 
What this kid he was saying, I don't, I don't, I don't accept those scholars. You know, who are you? You are just a donkey. You do not even know how to say your prophet name correctly, and your wall is full of dirt. Shame on you. A public bathroom is ten times cleaner than your room. I could not believe it. What I saw in my in, in my eyes. Look at this. Is this is about muta or not? This is your Islamic interpretation. This is your scholars. It's about muta. It's about renting women for certain period of time. You should seek women with your money, women, for agreed period of time between two bracket zawajul muta. It's not me who's saying that. It's you, Muslims. And then when you read for them what it says in their books, they get upset. You are son of Muta. You like it, you don't. The Quran says so. Who care? You don't, you don't accept this. Who are you? You know. Go clean your boogers, you idiot. The second you open your camera, you scare the hell off me with the booger in your nose. And by the way, the Muslim, they always, they used to put their boogers in the wall of the Kaaba. And I challenge any Muslim to say it's not true. Is that true? What kind of believers those believers are? They throw their boogers on the Kaaba. And not only that, actually, dogs used to piss in the holy mosque of Allah, and Muslim never clean after that. Let us show you the reference. Read. Read. Read and see the garbage. So you are wondering why his wall is dirtier more than any toilet seat in the world? Read it. We are clean. We do what we do. Well, then we find their prophet, he jumped with dead dogs and women, blood from period and rags. And then we find that when they are praying, dogs go inside the mosque, lift their leg up, and they pee on Muhammad, and they keep going. And nobody clean. You see, dogs are animals. We don't blame the animals for what they do, no problem. But the animal is, okay, he just pissed in the house of God. Shouldn't you clean after? What kind of savage people who they are inside the mosque with Muhammad then? Not only that, there's a Bedouin, he entered the mosque. He grabbed his penis, literally. And he started pissing in the mosque, in the presence of Muhammad. Do you know what Muhammad he said? Let him finish, let him finish. <laughs> Do you know why the coward, he said, let him finish? This guy from a powerful tribe, Muhammad the coward, don't dare to stop him. Let him finish. Do you remember Christians, what Jesus did in the temple? Just because the Jews, they were buying and selling, not in the temple. You see, the Jewish temple have many square yards. In the out, out skirt of the temple, Jesus, he flipped the tables on them. He said, you are making the house of my father a bazaar. They are not pissing. A man, he entered the mosque and he stood up grabbing his penis 
pissing in the front of Muhammad in the mosque of Allah during the prayer. Because he's a coward. The hadith in front of you. And this is accurate, this is sahih. Who's next? <clears throat> Any Abdul? So, you know, and the funny that the first guy who called me, he says, a Christian believe in Allah. We don't believe in Allah. Otherwise, why are you laughing at Allah? And you know, actually, the proof, the Muslim, they lie when they say that Jews, they believe in Allah. How we can prove it? Anyone remember? Let us see how many of you are learning. How we remember, how we, re how we can prove that to Muslims, that the Jews don't believe in Allah. This is very important verse. Anyone remember? Which chapter? Anyone remember? I know that the sound take time to arrive for you. How we can prove that the Jews and the Christians never believe in Allah? Okay, please take a note, because many of you look like you are not taking notes. Chapter 5, verse number 64, it's a clear proof that the Jews and the Christians, at least the Jews, they never believe in Allah. And if the Jews don't believe in the same God of Muslims, then what don't believe? In chapter 5, verse number 64, the Jews are making fun of Allah. Do you see it? So how the Jews, they believe in Allah and they are making fun of Allah. Have you ever heard of somebody believe in God and make fun of him? Chapter 5, verse number 64. Take notes. The Jews made fun of Allah, say that Allah, his hand is tied up, which means he can do nothing. He cannot make miracles. He cannot help Muhammad. Muhammad is just a fraud. If the Jews, they were believers in the God of Islam, then they will not make fun of the God of Islam. The same as me. If I am a believer in Allah, so how am I going to make fun of Allah? The Muslim, they can come to different strategies. They say, do you know that in the Arabic, in the Arabic Bible, it says the word Allah? Well, this is the same in the Indonesian one, the same as in Pakistani one. Wherever Muslim occupy the land, they force the word Allah. But all of us, we knew that the Christians believe, don't believe in Allah. And to prove it, very simple. Do your God, Allah, have a son? No. So our God have a son. He's not Allah. Yeah. Not a single word in the Bible is Allah. This is a false translation. I can make a translation and replace the word God with Buddha if I want. But this is not correct. This is false. So you notice now, the only one who can call us is those who don't, you know, they, they, you know, they have no knowledge. So they can say whatever they want. And then when I hang up on them, they say, okay, run away. <laughs> but you know what? I could not believe that there is a human being, he will have a wall like that. I'm really shocked. You see, I have many, many, many African people. They are wonderful, very clean people. This guy is dirty. He don't present the African. Not only his mouth is dirty, his house is very filthy. I made a seminar in the month of July. You remember when I was away for some time? Many of you think I'm doing vacation, right? Actually, I was doing seminars. But I don't talk about it. All those who attend the seminars, except the three people, they were three people only, they were white, and the rest they were black. Wonderful people. 
and many of them actually are ex-Muslims. Many of them, they are ex-Muslims. And I travel thousands of miles just to meet them. And I spend from my money, from my pocket, for the hotel, for, the, for transportation, for the flight, for everything. Wonderful African people. I love them. Glory to the Lord. That the Lord, He changed the heart of people. Doesn't matter what is your color. Doesn't matter what is your ethnic. The second you follow Him, you are a wonderful person. I really love them. Very simple, very humble people, very nice, very polite. Many of you thought I was in vacation when I was away. In fact, I was doing seminars. I did seminars even to teach bishops and priests and ministers. I don't talk about it because I'm not supposed to. Why would talk about it? So many of you say, oh, Christian Prince, maybe he's going vacation, maybe etc. I was not. How Arabic Christian, they say the word uh, 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 God? Well, first of all, this is not Arabic word. You see, this is Aramic. Rab, the same as you say in Arab, in, in, in Hebrew, you say Rab, a Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi. So Rab is the word Lord. Il is a word meaning God. Al is a word meaning God too. So like in the old Hebrew, it used to be Israel, Mikael, Gabriel, Ishmael, Israel. In the new Hebrew, it became Israel. So this is why the Bible says, and he, his name will be called Emmanuel. So the last two letters is Il. This is what God. God is with us. So uh, nowhere in the Bible, by the way, even when the Bible says, when Moses has asked God, what is your name? What I will say to my people, you know? That was not really a name. It was, I am who I am, which means I am the one who exists by myself. Nobody created me. This is why when Jesus said, I'm the Alpha and the Omega, you know, he's not talking about the beginning of a time. He's talking about the beginning of everything. By him and for him was it created. Uh, <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? So until now, there is a failure. Who is the one who sent down the Quran? Chapter 2, verse number 97 does not speak, speak about Jibreel sending down the Quran. Speaking about Jibreel sending down a dish of gold and a dish of wisdom. What do you think of a girlfriend who cheat a Christian? Who cheat? Okay. First of all, why you have a girlfriend? If you are a Christian, you should not have a girlfriend. What do you mean you have a girlfriend? She's your wife? No. So what do you mean she cheat on me? By having a girlfriend, you are a cheater too. You are cheating with God. Like suppose he's a bad person girlfriend who cheated on me there's nothing that's called girlfriend in christianity if we do we are committing sin as simple as that so when people they have a boyfriend girlfriend don't require from that person to be not a cheater because already you are cheating with god you just change the name of false relationship you call it boyfriend and girlfriend but in reality she, she is just a girlfriend. Girlfriend. So, and what are you? Boyfriend. Which means you are nobody and she is nobody. Today she is with you. Tomorrow she is with a different one. You, today you are, you are doing muta. Literally muta. This is muta. You are practicing muta. You are like a Muslim now. Anyway. Uh, so do we have any Muslim can tell us who is the one who sent down the Quran? A 
anyone? Well, if a person he want to marry a woman, he do not need to sleep with her. You sleep with her after you marry her. You are literally doing muta, my friend. Except you are not spending money, like you know, like Muhammad. But it's a form of muta. Don't fool yourself and give it like a, you know, give it titles and give it excuse. You know, I wanna yeah, even if you wanna to think to marry her. But this is because you are tempted, and she is tempted, so you're not doing the right thing. Don't fool yourself. You see, I can say things I like to do because I like to do sin. But I cannot say <laughs> what I do is a good sin. <laughs> sin is sin. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you call it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we all of us we commit sin, right? We desire things does not belong to us. You desire a woman, she don't belong to you. You see, sometime or maybe a woman, she is beautiful. You think you have a thought, even by having thought, the Bible says you are committing sin. So don't give yourself titles, and you know you have a, it's it's wrong. You have to fight it. Otherwise, you are following Muhammad. Uh, Edward, one more time you make a post, I will block you. This is not a, a marriage consultation in uh, page. Here, topic is Islam. Do you see the title? I'm not interested in your girlfriend, and you know, you are being a good boyfriend. So she is the bad girlfriend, and you are the good boyfriend. Well, I see you both are bad. And let me hide you, please. You are wasting my time. This is what is missing, a boyfriend and girlfriend story. And what kind of a person he go to a chat room to tell everybody about his girlfriend, what she did? Is that what you would do if you get married? My wife, she forced me to wash dishes. You're like Muhammad going to publicly put in the laundry out. What is that? Aren't you a man? Do you think about it? No girlfriend, you know, you told me. You know, and now everybody is laughing at you. What's wrong with people? Do we have adult mature people to talk to me? If there is any Abdul, he's adult mature. I received once I was live and God is my witness I received a message when I am live that my dad he passed away I continued as if nothing happened I never mentioned it to anyone I did not even make any change I finished my life strong, handling the extreme bad news. What happened to those men these days? What kind of men we have? Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> we have a person, his name is Omar, saying Trinity does not exist. Well, you know, Mr. Omar, you are the one who decides what is exist or not. Let me answer you then. Allah does not exist. Can you prove me wrong? I mean, a person who follow a God, there's no proof of his existence. He could not give Muhammad any miracle. He could not even speak to Muhammad. He could not even make Muhammad hear his fault. It is it was. The Trinity does not exist. Can you prove to us that your God is exist? Can you prove to us that your God Allah is exist? I invite you, my friend, to call me right now and tell me how you can prove to me that Trinity does not exist. 
starting by telling me about your God who exists. Does he exist? Anyone? <clears throat> Any Abdul can prove to us that Allah is exist. Secondly, if a trinity is not exist, so how Allah approve it? Isn't it the stupid Quran says Musaddiqan Lima Ma'ahum? Confirming what is with them? And this is what is with us. Stupid is amazing. How you are confirming, how your book confirming what is with us, and then your book is not confirming what is with us. <laughs> What is a stupid God this God is? Is that the same God talking? That's a good question, guys. If God is not exist, if Allah doesn't exist, who is the one who created the universe? Your generation. Well, can you prove first that Allah is the one who created the generation? Have you ever heard of a God? He think that this generation is created from a sperm who became a blood? Dead blood? This is God? So your God, he need to go to elementary school so he can have some education. A stupid kid in elementary school, he knew that this is stupid. So this is the God who created the generation. Okay, but he think that oh, we are created from a sperm who became a blood. And not to forget, the women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs too. This is God, or this is a book made by an idiot. Read the Quran. Do Arab Christians they call God Allah? Yes, this is true because they are under the occupation of Islam for centuries. But we don't believe in Allah. When the Arab Christian they've been forced by ISIS fourteen hundred years ago to use that word. But they don't use it meaning the word of the God of Islam. They use it as a word meaning God. But for Muslims, Allah is a name, not a word meaning God. I don't agree with it. Anyone who uses it is a stupid. Now, any Abdul, what kind of God he think that the semen become a piece of congealed blood? And this is how he created the baby. Okay, you will repeat yourself again and again. Yeah, stupid idiot. What a boy. I give you a height. You see, I can consider you as an adult, talk to you, you talk to me, you answer me, but you repeat yourself saying the same stupid things, we laugh at you. Secondly, you stupid son of Muta. The Quran says there is a trinity specifically about Jesus. Isn't it your stupid Quran says? The same verse says, say, the, say no trinity, the same verse confirm a trinity, but different form of, uh, form of trinity. Read and laugh at your stupid book. This is the same Quran, the same book. You are a Muslim who you follow and you believe in, confirming that the Trinity is not only possible, Jesus himself is a three in one. By the way, we don't believe in that. This is your stupid Quran. Stupid Quran saying that Jesus is a three, yet one in the same time. So this is the chapter four, verse 171, it says, that uh, Christians uh, don't commit excuse in your religion, uh, nor say Allah, but the truth, Christ Jesus, son of Mary, okay, between two brackets, no more than a messenger, doesn't say that in Quran, it says he's a messenger, okay, and then he is his word, so Jesus is a messenger of God, and then what? He is the word of God. Messenger here present that Jesus came in the flesh, this is exactly what? John chapter 1 verse number 1 and verse 14 says 
So the fifth thing Muhammad is copying in John chapter 1, verse 1 and verse 14. In the beginning it was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was the God. And then that Word became a flesh, that is the messenger. For God he loved the Word, he sent his only begotten Son. But this messenger is the Son of God. At the same time he is a messenger, but he is God in the same time. Because he is the message. He is the Word. This is why you see in the Quran, Jesus did not need to wait for Jibreel to squeeze him and teach him Quran like Muhammad. Jesus is born with it. For why? For he is the word of God. Then Jesus, the messenger and the word, he is a spirit proceeding from him, which means he is a spirit of God. Three and one, strip of Quran. The same verse says, don't say Trinity. Read it. The same verse says, don't say Trinity. The same verse saying, well, it's possible to be Trinity and the proof is Jesus. Jesus is the word. Jesus is the man. Jesus is the spirit. It's in the front of your eyes. So this is what happened. Stupid Muhammad, he made a verse getting himself busted. It's in the front of you. We have Mr. Aftab. How are you, Mr. Aftab? Are you a Muslim, my friend? Aftab? Why you don't call me Aftab? You must be an Indian Muslim. How they throw it behind their back and the Quran confirming what is between our hands. <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. Yeah, keep posting, keep posting, talking to yourself. Potato. How we throw the scriptures behind our back. You see, first of all, how, who is going to agree that there's a believers they will change their book? This is stupid. Why the Christian did not accuse the Jews of changing the book? Because they will never do that. It doesn't matter what you think about the Jews. They will never do that. They will never, ever do that. So the stupid Muhammad, he made a stupid argument, confirming our book in the same time saying we are hiding uh, the truth. <laughs> so how he confirm? Ah. <laughs> uh. You are a Muslim? Here we go. This is, I think, Ultimate Fault is trying to call again. Yes, Ultimate, you are here back? You know it's done. <laughs> I'm just playing with you, Ultimate. Call me back. <laughs> All right. Oh. I have non-Christian friends, Muslims, atheists asking questions. Can I talk to you? Because I can't answer. And you can ask me the question in the chat. If you ask me in, in Skype, I will block you. That's why we have the chat for everybody. We don't have a private conversation here. Don't text me in Skype. Skype is only for Muslims to be calling me. Go wash your wall, you idiot dirty so Aftab my friend why you don't call me I would like you to hear that verse for me because this verse is funny instead of repeating the same verse reposting I will give you the screen I will give you the microphone I will you know we will listen to you and we will see how wise you are but be careful I will make you read the verses before it and the verses after What do you think? So if you are proud about your book, if you are truly, truly proud about your book, call me and we will make you read the verses you are. Keep posting them nonstop because that will make people die laughing at you and at your stupid prophet. So off top, do you dare? 
Actually, I will put the verses you, you are saying in front of us on the screen so people can laugh. This is your choice, remember. Hmm. Hey, by the way, the title of the verse is proving that your fraud, your prophet is a fraud. Your stupid prophet, he, he, he say in the same chapter that Mary, she is the daughter of Amron and she is the sister of Aaron. But Amran is the father of Aaron and the father of Moses. Stupid Muhammad. <laughs> Let us go to the verse you are asking me to read. <laughs> 187. Are you ready? Are you ready? And remember, Allah took the covenant of the people of the book. Okay, in front of everybody. I challenge you to show me how Allah he took the covenant of the people of the book. You see, I warned you. Either you will look like a donkey or you will look like a donkey in front of everybody. Can you show us where the story of the Quran is speaking about Allah? He gave a covenant with the people of the book. I'm waiting. So either you have to admit that you are stupid like your prophet, or you have to give me the reference from the Quran, the story of the covenant of Allah with the people of the book. Allah, he made the covenant with the Christians. Uh, Sufyan, you keep saying our God made mistake. No, my friend, I'm not saying your God made mistake. Your God doesn't exist. Your God does not exist. Your God is an idiot. There's no way. So you agree now that your God is a stupid because if he's God, he would know how the baby is created. This is not a mistake. This is a, uh, proving that Muhammad is a fraud. This is not a mistake of God because this God does not exist. Look what Jesus said. You keep saying our God made mistake, but he, he but wasn't. Wasn't it your Jesus made a mistake when he chose Judas as an uh, apostle? No, because Jesus, before Judas, he betrayed Jesus. Jesus, he said he will. Is that correct, Christians? Christians, is that true? <laughs> Not only he said who will do it, he said what he will do. And he said that to Peter. And he said that to everybody. So Jesus did not make a mistake. He knew them. He knew even their sin. He knew the future. But the story now, as long as you are the one who mentioned this, let us ask the question then. Is it your stupid God? He have a debate with the angel about Adam. When the angels, they accuse Adam that he will do mischievement. And Allah, he said to them, I know what you know not. And then he told Adam the names of the animals. And he said to them, the angels, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful, which means Allah is accusing the angels to be a bunch of liars. And then later, just a few lines let down, we found that Adam commits sin and Allah kicked him out. <laughs> so who is the stupid? <laughs> so Jesus knew about Judah and he told them what he will do and he told them what Peter would do. He would deny me three times even before the, the rooster is screen. He knew. He knew what would happen the second day exactly. Wasn't surprised. But you're a stupid God in the Quran. He have an argument with the angels, accusing the angels to be a bunch of liars. Read and laugh. Stupid Muhammad making Quran. Why well, you don't call me so we can laugh together? Be honest. Are you uh, are you like uh, ashamed of your Quran? Jairun fil ordi khalifa. What a stupid religion. Read and love. This is your God. He came to the angel. He said, I'm going to create a creature. Okay. Okay. And so, okay. so they said to him, Hey, the God of the Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Allah the Abdul. Are you going to create someone will do mischievement? And will shed blood. Hmm. 
You believe, you know that Jesus, he knew the future. Do you believe in predestination? That is stupid of you. God, he knew the future, but that is not a predestination. That because of the ability of God, not for predestination. Stupid up to, no, no. Me, you, you know, I'm sure your, your, your voice will be the same as Ali Dawa. <laughs> God, he knew the future of every one of us, but that does not mean predestination. Why? Because simply is God. He knew what we will do. However, our God, because he's fair, he will not judge us unless we do it. As simple as that. Uh, in the same time, the stupid Muhammad, he believed in the predestination. So why people will be judged? For what? Jesus said, not every one of you says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So in order to go to the kingdom of my father, you have to do the father will. If you do your own, you don't go. Abdul. Now we go back to the topic. So look what happened with the stupid religion here. Allah accused the angels to be a bunch of liars. When they say to him, are you going to create someone who would do blood shifting? And hear him to ask yourself, how the angels didn't knew that? Any Muslim can solve this mystery? How the angels did you the, the future? And how Allah do not know? Because all of us we agree that Adam was kicked out from heaven because he did mischief and so the angels were right and Allah was wrong. So the stupid Allah, he decided to prove the angels they are wrong, that he will not do mischief and so what he did. So he taught Adam all the names of everything and then he showed them the, to the angels and he said, hey, tell me, tell me this name of those things if you are truthful. People, do you see the world if you are truthful? Do you see it? Does it say in the Quran? If you are truthful, it says that, right? I'm not making things up. Tell me the names of those of these things if you are truthful. If I say to somebody, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful, if he could not, he, it's mean he is not a truthful, correct? So telling the names will prove if they are truthful or not. If they could not tell the names, they are a bunch of liars. So how you Muslim, you say that Allah, he sent the Quran with a bunch of liars. If the one who sent down the Quran is Jibreel, or the one who carried it down is Jibreel. And if the Quran proved that all the angels are a bunch of liars. <laughs> so how you claim that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit when he is a scumbag, according to the Quran? He is a liar. The Quran says that. You see how stupid this book is? Uh. Yes, ultimate fort. Run that. <laughs> See how I'm, a, I'm I am Allah, I know the future. <laughs> Before he talk, I know it's ultimate fault. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh. You know ultimate fault, what do you mean you want to go to the bed? The one you are sleeping in is a bed. Go clean your wall, you idiot. Take the boogers from the wall. So tell me the names of these things if you are truthful. Who is a brave Muslim can answer such a stupid thing? What kind of God is accusing the angels to be a bunch of liars? And then how the Quran is sent down by a bunch of liars? According to you, you ask, who is the one who said the Quran is Jibreel? Any Abdul? Yeah, he's obsessed with me. You know, ultimate fart is like little puppy. You know, he holds you from your leg like you know, <laughs> let's go, eh? <laughs> oh 
give me the number of the surah. This is a chapter to verse number 31. We are reading here. But you need to read the verse before it so you can connect you know, the dots together. And then right away, you will see that the angels were right. You know, Adam was kicked out from heaven because he did mischief and his kids, children, right away, they kill each other. Right away, the first generation, the sons of Adam, they killed each other. So the angels were right. And the stupid Quran was wrong. So now, if the angels are not truthful, the whole Quran is not truthful then. Who is the one who sent the Quran down? They said to you, the angels. They are not truthful. Do we have any Abdul? My friend, you are, uh, you know, you are an ex-Muslim. You can ask me in the chat. Ask me in the chat. Go ahead. Who's holding you? Do we have any Abdul? What is left in this cult? I mean, all of it is stupid. Until now, we are waiting for somebody. He can give us any answer about anything. Remember, remember, angels, they are in Islam and truthful. See here, Allah is accusing all the angels, not one. Did you notice that? The Muslim, they cannot say, oh, there's one of them. No. The angels, they said, all of them. Are you going to create someone who will do mischievement? All of them. And remember, when the angels, when Allah, he said to the angels, he said to the all angels, who is the one who answer? All the angels too. They said, they, you see it, they, not he said. They said, will you place someone who will make mischievement and bloodshed? Allah answered back, said to them, I know what you know not, which means you're a bunch of idiot. So Allah here, he claimed the knowledge. And he's accusing them that they are wrong about Adam would do mischievement and his children. And then Allah wanted to prove to them that he know what they know not. And look how stupid the method is. Imagine you want to prove to me that you are God. You give your cat a name. You call her Mimi or Fifi. And then you ask me, what is the name of my cat? I say, I do not know. And that's supposed to prove that you are God and you know not what I know. <laughs> you know what I know not. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a stupid thing? Should be the opposite. It should be the opposite. I say to you, okay, go far away from me, give names to things in your heart, and come to me and ask me what the names I gave. Then I will tell you because I'm God, I know everything. But you are the one who gave the names. And then you will tell the names, and that is a proof that you're God. People, do you see the stupidity? Imagine you have a newborn baby. You gave him a name. You gave him a name. A friend of you came. He says, what is the name of this? You said to him, what is the name of my baby? I said, I don't know. I said, okay. His name is Muhammad. Oh, you must be God. How do you know his name? Okay. You are the one who gave the name to him. I mean, who is more dumb, stupid than this God? This is religion. This is a story is not even good for a cartoon. At least in the cartoon, they say, okay, close your eyes. Let us play hide and seek and find the treasure. Here, the guy is the one who hide the treasure and he is the one who found it. And that to prove that he know everything. When I say stupidity is amazing, I have done many, done many a reason to say to confirm it. It's a stupid, it's amazing. And at the end, they worship him, they bow down. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. What Akbar, what Asghar, what stupid, what, what's wrong with you? Do you see what this guy is stupid saying? 
How this is can be God? Okay, guys, I'm going to play with you. You cannot see me. I am going to hide now. I have a bottle of water in front of me. Hmm. I want you, I'm going to give this water a name. I want you to tell me the name of my water. Tell me the name of the water if you are truthful. And go, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, try, try, let us see. Let us see, angels. Hey, angels, all of you are angels. All of you, that's it. I give you a job now. <laughs> give me the name of my water. I gave this ball of water a name. Give me the name. You don't know, don't you? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> what a stupid angels are a bunch of you. What's wrong with you? You do not know the name of my water? Okay, I'm going to show you now that I am God, worship me. It says here, purified water. What the heck? <laughs> what make it more horrible when he says if you are truthful that is even more stupid <laughs> if you are truthful <laughs> that's beyond the stupidity <laughs> if you are truthful <laughs> You are truthful okay <laughs> yeah muhammad did you forget that those supposedly the one will give you the quran later according to, the, to abdul so how they are a bunch of liars and not a truthful and they are the one who will be trusted to deliver the quran any muslim can answer that i mean how corrupt the society around allah because not a single angel is good. If you are a truthful speaking to whom? To the all angels. So how they say Jibreel is the Holy Spirit? Why you are laughing different? This is what you are worried about now? My laughing different? Hmm. You must be a scientist. That's deep. Any Abdul? You will come, my friend, the ex-Muslim. You can ask your question here in the chat. Any brave Abdul? All right, sound like we are out of customers for today. And the only one is uh, obsessed is ultimate fart. May Allah bless his fart and clean his wall. <laughs> I could not believe it, how dirty his wall is. <laughs> You know, once I saw a little dirt in the handle of my door, the outside door, I was really upset. You know, I was, I was like, I did not clean it for, I mean, how I not notice it? I mean, look, there's some, some dark stuff on it. You know, that the, the, the handle have like some design, you know, which is hard to clean. I was upset because I did not clean it. I mean, this guy, this is his bedroom. Unbelievable sick so i want to say to you thank you guys for being here did we have a good time did we have a good time did we learn did we learn something okay let's summarize what we said then if i say right now to you which chapter is the chapter proving that the jews don't believe in allah what say you what how to prove to the muhammadan that the jews and the christians they make fun of allah therefore they don't believe in allah what chapter anyone remember anyone remember i know it take time no not chapter four not chapter four no 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 Chapter 564, thank you. Chapter 564, the Jews making fun of Allah that he is in disabled. He cannot do anything. His hand is tied up. 
Even the verse confirmed that they are doing blasphemy against God by saying that because simply they don't believe in this God. So when the Muslims, the Muhammadan, the black stone kissers, pagans, they say to us that the Christians and the Jews they believe in the same God, which is Allah, the Quran proved the opposite. Because if they are believers in Allah, they will not make fun of Allah. And actually, all of us here, we are making fun of Allah all the day, right? So how we believe in Allah then? So Allah is a stupid. He say things we don't, it's not true. Uh, you can prove me wrong in 60 seconds. Uh, I don't know, my friend, you must be very busy man to the point to be in the chat for an hour, but you cannot give me uh, 60 seconds of your time to prove me wrong. That's deep. I think you are an angel of Allah. 60 seconds. Look how fast. 60 seconds, even before I say one, two, three, four, five. So, uh, we are done. That was so fast. My friend, you have to be in the book of Genesis. What they call it? The book of what? Genesis or something? Yeah. Why well, you don't do it? I'm waiting here for the last few hours saying who is Abdul, who is Abdul? Are you retiro or retired or ret ret re re uh, uh, retarded? I can prove you wrong. So what? You don't do it, man. What's wrong with you? You don't want to show how champion you are? Are you a champion or a shampoo? Ah, you will use your shampoo and on my foot, I will slip and this is how you will win. I got it. Thank you. You are not a champion, you are a shampoo. I don't use shampoo, I'm an Arab. Okay? Bad news for you. Since when you heard that Arab they use shampoo? Let me tell you how my the best men of the Arabia, how the rich ones of us, the, the the smart, the genius, the prophets, you know how they shower. We don't use shampoo. We go and look for water. Have dead dogs. Dead dead dogs. You cannot use live dogs. This is a very good recipe. By the way, I noticed that you are using hair. You can use it for your hair. Trust me, your hair will grow. Dead dogs. You will go and you will find dead dogs in a stinky water. It have to be stinky. Sorry, you know, this is the hadith in front of you. So it have to be stinky. Stinky. You know what stinky? Okay, stinky like coming from pinky. Okay, so you have to find something stinky. And then, brother. The dogs will be in the stinky thing. And not only that, brother, the water should have women blood from period. That will make it a full recipe. So write it, please write it right down. Number one, women blood rags from period. That's number one. Number two, the dogs. As many as you can, brother. Two, three, four, five. The more, the better and the best. And then it have to be stinky things like garbage. You know, stinky. It have to be stinky, not just garbage, because that's garbage, not stinky. See, the hadith says stinky, not me. Stinky and stuff. Then, brother, you jump in the water, and this is how you can beat me up in sixty seconds. Actually, you will be dead before the sixty second is over from the smell. Why you don't call me and explain to me how stinky water work with your prophet? This is how the prophet he take a shower, Mr. Shampoo. I don't know, maybe this guy is even joking. He's not a Muslim. Are you a Muslim, really? Be careful when you post something. I take it serious. Maybe he's not a Muslim. I have no idea. Anyway, I guess it's time for me to go and take a shower. But the problem, I cannot find the dogs in my area. This area is so clean. I'm so upset. Disgusting. How I'm going to do this recipe in my, you know, to, uh, you know, to do things, you know? So now I have a problem. First, I don't have women around me. How in the world I will get women blood from period? Like, what the heck? I'm in trouble. Because 
you cannot just put the stinky stuff like I can make stinky stuff, you know, it's that's not hard. But I can get my socks as an example, you know, or, or, or the wall of uh, a piece of the wall of uh, <laughs> of ultimate fall. But still, we need woman blood from period, brother. And dead dogs, not only one. And not only dead dogs, they have to be flesh pieces. Look, look, flesh, flesh. Man, this prophet was so clean. I heard this guy, his name, Dr. Sabil Ahmed. He says, brothers and sisters. No, no, they speak like a girl. Brothers and sisters, Prophet Muhammad, he was the example of being clean. And he is the best way to fight coronavirus. Like, what the heck? He was the best way to fight coronavirus? <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. Uh, <laughs> Saying Trinity does not exist. My friend, you know, when a Muslim he tried, you will notice all Muslims want to debate about Trinity. First of all, Christians should not even debate about it. Because simply the idea is very simple. This is how God, He is. You, you can debate God, can you? So, my God, three and one. You don't believe it, it's your business, but you can debate it. If you want to say to me, your God is one, I can debate it because the Quran says the opposite. The Quran says, if I want to take a partner, I will take it from us. So, is He one or many? <laughs> So if God is one or, you know, uh, one person, two person, let us say the, the Hindus, they believe in three, 35 million gods. That will not change anything. The question is, they are real or not? One or 35, if it's false, it's false. So a stupid Abdul, he believes his God is one, but his God is a, is a stupid one. So what the benefit? Like they think that if they say we have one God, that will make them superior. But you have a stupid God. So what difference is it going to make? He's one, he's two, he's four. Who care? Remember always the question is not about how many. Or the Christian believe in Trinity, correct? Okay, what if there are, God does not exist for the Christian? Maybe is they are lying to themselves. So that will not change anything. What if they are true? Then that's how this God is. So they are silly, they are shallow, they are stupid. You remember when uh, uh, when Mimi Hijab was talking to Borat, Rahman? Borat, he told him, well, uh, being one or not, that will not change anything. You know, you cannot tell God how to be. You cannot tell God how to be. This is not a debatable thing. If God says I am one, he's one. If he says I'm five, he's five. The question is God who claimed to be God let us examine if he exists or not the rest then we have to accept but God you do not know how the baby is created is a stupid God he's one he's two he's five who care a God he he's he's approving the angels to be wrong by teaching the name of the, the teaching Adam the names <laughs> Anyway, but by the way, this is why the Muslims, you see, they, they choose always a topic, and the topic is always a trinity. And Christians, they fail into such a trap. You should not even debate about it. Because let us see first, if my God is exist or your God is exist, is one or is three, this is later. Let us examine your God and see if your God is a true God. Right? And if it's three, three. If it's five, it's five. If it's ten, it's ten. Uh, anyway, do we have any question before we go? Anyone? Serious question. Additional to how I t take my shower, I just taught you how I take shower. And this is the way. I, I do it halal way. Halal fun. Well, look like we don't have any. Uh, tomorrow, uh, to already now, we pass 12 uh, uh, a.m. in the morning. So we are already December 30, uh, which means tomorrow is going to be December 31st. So tomorrow, should I go live tomorrow or 31st? I mean, yeah, actually tomorrow 31st. But I mean tomorrow, like after a few hours, which is today, already today. Um, depending on your location. 
just to have a good time with you guys for new year for me i don't really celebrate for me new year is just a short prayer to the lord i thank you for everything and christmas for me is saving as many as i can every day not only one day and uh, helping more christians and more muslims to see the truth and having a great family like you you know people who really love me and there's a lot of people who hate me i understand but it's okay it's part of the mission you know the lord he blessed us if the people hate us because of him so that is part uh, of of, uh, of the job you do uh, but i'm going i'm thinking to make like a live podcast where uh, just no islam no garbage no muhammad nothing just having a good time talking to you and maybe i will let you talk to me uh, do you show yourself at all my friend i am not invisible <laughs> i did seminars around the world <laughs> do you show yourself so i don't mind to show myself in seminar but in computer why i'm not really interested you know and why you need why you need why you are interested to show do you christian prince are you going to show yourself why you want to do that huh what is that for i mean this is weird you know like if the guy is talking to you he's saying he's god and you see you know you remind me of uh, uh i mean at, sometimes there's a questions they have a reason and sometimes i ask what is the reason behind this question are you going to show yourself at all why you want to show me what, what is the problem you want to see me or you want to hear me i know weird um uh, when when uh, when philip uh, he said uh, actually all the disciples you know you, you read the gospel you will see the disciples they are they are with jesus but still they are not finding out yet what is he is presenting to them for at least for a certain time so one of the disciples he says to him why don't show us the father and that's it the father my father my father my father okay jesus keep talking about his father so why don't show us the father and those questions they trigger an answer which none of them maybe was expecting or at least the person who was asking the question because if he knew that seeing Jesus is the same as seeing the Father, he won't ask the question. So Jesus said to him, I am with you all this time and you do not know me. The one who saw me, he saw the Father. And there's many Christians here. They want, they are Christian by name. They don't believe unless they see. But the Lord, he says, bless those who believe and they don't see. But even within his disciples, there's a person asking he want to see the same one he came from the from the tomb one of his disciples he will not accept that jesus he is back to life unless he see the nails in his hand not only he see him see how some people their faith is weak even between the disciple of jesus he cannot believe that this is happening unless he see the hands of jesus so my friend, uh, I understand if you want to see the Lord, your creator, but you don't see him, are you going to believe? But I don't understand why you want to see me. Who am I to you? No one. So my friend, always be careful <clears throat> about what you are wishing for, because if you might see me and you get scared, you run away, you will never come back here. <laughs> yeah uh, I understand that people they, they are sometimes curious but who care about your curiosity I'm not here to to feed it I'm here to do my work and my work is to save Muslims and Christians so children they will go to school Christian kids and no Muslim can fool them I remember once I saw a post of a Christian child and I will tell you how I find out he's a child there was a Muslim saying in the in the comment, "You worship a man," 
And then a Christian was saying, Oh, you worship a shin. Your God is a shin. At that time, it was like in you, you know, I'm just teaching. And it's not too much popular, those knowledge, you know what I mean? So I wanted to see who is this person who is saying that. So I click at his channel or his uh, account. And then I found it's a boy. He's just like nine years old. <laughs> I was really happy to see such a thing. A little boy is not even nine years old. He have cartoon in his channel. He have a video of him, you know, talking about a game he, his father bought for him. He's a boy. And he was refuting a Muslim saying, you worship a shin. Hello. Isn't it that beautiful? So your children will not be and armed never again against the cult of Muhammad. This is why we are here, my friend. Not to see me, not to know me. We want people to learn, to be able to refute, and to come to become fishermen. Jesus, when he came to the fisher, they were fishers, they fish for fish. He said, I will make you fisher men. People who fish for men, people. So we don't want ignorant who they are Christians by name. We want people who can refute, people who know the Bible, and we study it together. That's why we open a channel just to study the Bible. And the admin can post the link for you. Search for Arab for a Christ. Arab number four, Christ. You will find it. It's just to study the Bible. And actually, maybe tomorrow, if I go live, I will go there, not here, maybe. Uh, so we can, like, you see, when we are actually refuting Muslims, we are answering their lies about the Bible, too. All right so even though this channel is about islam but still we are helping the christians to refute all the lies muslims they come with but we wanted to uh, to have uh, the other channel so we can do a deep study far away from the garbage of islam and using the word penis and vagina and you know all this garbage we want a clean place you know so we can relax with the gospel and read it so if you like to join it, you know, the, the admin post in the link and uh, feel free to join us. Okay. And you can subscribe to Patreon. So when we post, you will be updated because sometimes uh, YouTube don't send notification. Good. Yeah. And there we speak only about the Bible. There's no question about Islam. I will not debate Muslims. You want to debate me or Muslim? Come here. Shish kebab time. Here, shish kebab time. You know? Dear Baklava, uh, and you know, time will come and Christian Prince will not be exist in this earth. But I have tens of thousands of videos, I'm not exaggerating. Do you see how many hours I'm staying? Do you see? This is the average I stay. Sometimes I stay six hours, seven hours, eight hours. Each eight hours, you can make them a hundred video actually. Like people, they make an average of a video of 10 minutes, 15 minutes. We stay here for many hours, full of information, refutation, getting Abdul busted. So every time we go live on air, it's a school by itself. It's an open classroom for free. We don't charge people. One of you, he said, why don't make video a special video for those who give donation and he used the word they pay you i was really upset from the word he they pay you i answered him i don't know if he's here i said i don't give special treatment for those between two bracket pay me i'm not here employed by people who pay me if you think you're paying me you're wrong don't give donation then. And I will not make a video for those who pay me between two brackets alone. But if a person is poor, he cannot between two brackets pay me. How insulting. So some people, they get what we do wrong. 
I worked for most of my life. I never collected a donation. This is something new. Uh, so donation is just to support what we do. We give it full time of our life. It's a full mission. If you don't like to donate, don't donate. We give our books for free. I give my books for free because I am not a money worshipper. Otherwise, I will not give a single book for free. Not a single one. We have our books translated to all language. Look, I'm saying even our books. I don't say even my books. We, we give the Chinese for free, the Indonesian for free, the Russian for free, the Albanian for free. I mean, the Chinese alone, they can make me a millionaire. If you sell it in digital online, like in Google, if you sell the book just for three dollars, you know, three dollars each one. China, you can you imagine how big China is, Chinese, and they have money. How much money I will make just from the Chinese copy? We give it for free. Why? Because making people know the truth is way more important than me making money. And the Lord is my provider. He will never let me without food he will never let me without being warm he will never ever let me down i trust him so people who support me i say to them thank you very much i appreciate your support but there's many people too they support not by making donation because simply they are poor and the poor one he do what a poor man can do. Bless him. Right? So I appreciate all those people who support. But I will never give a special treatment for the one who give donation as money. Never think of that. Not even for a second. This is why when I post in Patreon, all my post is unlocked. All of it. Which means you don't even have to be part of Patreon to see it. Why? Because it's for free. The Lord, he says, for free you took, for free you give. Uh, and I saw many people, they make like a special video for those who, you know, uh, actually there's a, one of you, he sent me an email saying, you know, the reason nobody is uh, subscribing or doing donation or few, because you don't make a special content for only those who donate. You have to encourage them. I mean, this is marketing business now, you know, you have to encourage them to give them something special because they are donating. But this is I mean those people, they are just looking for a special treatment. And it's a, it, this has become a business, not, not, a, not a mission. I will never do that. See in the Quran, Muhammad, he made a, he made a condition in order to speak to someone. He have to pay him first. That is against Jesus' teaching. And that is not what Christ is about. Anyone want to meet with Muhammad? He have to pay Muhammad in order to meet him, to speak to him in private. If you go and see those who email me, even though I ask him, please, don't email in Patreon because it's it's all it's a uh, it's too much you know it's not like uh, uh, it's one person two person three person you know you will see that the one who I answer them is the one who have zero donation I answer the one who have zero donation the same as the one who have donating for maybe a, a long time but this is not us I am not Muhammad and I will never be Muhammad. And if I am interested in money, I will just go and sell my books. I will never give one single book for free and I will not even come here. Watch TV and my books making me money. As simple as that. All right. Somebody saying, what is the purpose of Satan? Hey, Andres, what is the purpose of you?
Shouldn't you ask yourself first, what is the purpose of you? You are worried about Satan, but you are not worried about your purpose. I am sure that you do not know your purpose yet. Right? Uh, people, you know, uh, sometime you see one of the things you you uh, I try to uh, to share with people here is to learn how to think. I'm not saying that you guys are ignorant or you are a foolish person who do not, but there is a way to read carefully what people are saying. We need to learn how to do that. There is a way to listen carefully for what people say. And then we use what they say either to support what they are saying or against what they are saying. Like this guy now, you know? What is the purpose of Satan? What, what is the purpose of you? Are you an insect? What is the purpose of the ant? What is the purpose of the rat? Let me tell you about the news, my friend. I believe everything have a purpose. Everything, including mosquitoes. This universe is created as a complete package. Everything complete everything. So if you could not understand the purpose of your own, how you can understand the purpose of anything? So the first question you need to ask yourself, Mr. Andres, what is your purpose of such a stupid question? Huh? I mean, if Satan does the bidding of God, what does the bidding of God? First of all, there's nothing that's called Satan, really. Satan is a, is a person who decides to be evil. Otherwise, there's no Satan. God, he did not create Satan. God, he created angel. Angel, he wanted to be God, and he wanted to be evil. That is Satan. So the purpose... There's no purpose except what he wanted to be. So if you are a person who have little analogy for what you the word you use, you and if you have little knowledge, then you should know that he chose his purpose. It's not like he's created for a purpose. You understand? So when God he created a human being, he did not create him to be evil. He created him to share his glory with him. He gave him heaven. So the purpose was good. The human being decided to have a different purpose. And now you can have a good purpose in your question or you can be silly and stupid. It's up to you. Right? Who did Jacob whistle with? Uh, why the name of Israel and Jacob use and generally? Uh, you know, uh, uh, when uh, are you a Muslim, Mr. Leon Hart? Are you a Muslim, my friend? Give me, give me your, give me your religion first before I answer you. Because you know we have to answer everyone depending on his understanding of his background. So, Leon Hart, are you a Muslim? I'm waiting for your answer. Yeah, God is one. We believe in that. Absolutely. God is one. God is not ten. You are a Christian. Okay. Well, here, you know, here is uh, 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 sometimes people, they ask questions. Again, we go back to zero. Who did Jacob wrestle with? The Bible is so clear. You see, the the, the when, when people they read the Bible, Either they decide to read and live the story, or they decide to read to question the story. I, for me, I read it and then I question by leaving it. How is that? Every one of us, he struggled with God. So when the Bible speaks about wrestling, it might appear to be like there's two people fighting, correct? But is that really how God, he examines a person? If he is good to be a prophet or not? If he's strong, if you have good muscles, the Bible confirmed that this is not what it is. So here there's a struggle, the word here presents a struggle. 
So Jacob, he struggled with God and he passed. He passed that struggle. And this is why he been called my firstborn son, not born of God, but of the nation of Israel. So he will be like the, 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 the prince of Israel. So when you struggle with God, you are like Israel. But during the struggle, uh, either you pass or you fail. Jacob, he passed. All right. Who created us in the womb? Only Allah. Well, this is KK. This is cuckoo talk. Because your God, Allah, He did not create you in the womb. Your God, Allah, He created you from a sperm coming from the ribs of the women. And I can show it to you from the Quran. Quran 86, verse number 6 and 7. Read it. According to your Quran, women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. What womb? <clears throat> well, uh, the Muslim, the Quran says that you have to obey the Prophet. You forbid what he forbid, and you obey what he what he you know order you. So Muhammad he can forbid. Muhammad he simply by making those verses in the Quran, he replaced God by himself. So he became God in this earth. Muhammad literally this is what name what the name Muhammad mean is God the praise one. All right. All those verses is about obeying Muhammad. And actually, even he made it more clear that if you obey Muhammad, you obey Allah, not the opposite. Do you see it? So Muhammad, he replaced God by himself. Why we are showing us the fake Al Kitab Bible? All human in the world knows the Bible it was changed. Well, that will be even more stupid of you, Mr. Efran, because if the Bible is a change, that's mean your God Allah He get a finger in his in his butt. Isn't it your stupid God? He says that Allah is the one who sent the Bible. So are you accusing Allah? Or are you accusing us? Stupid people. This is how stupid Muhammadan are. They claim that the Bible is a change, but by doing that, you are excusing your God to be stupid. <laughs> What's my problem? This is the book of Allah, not my book. Stupid. Certified donkey like your prophet. Everyone knows that the Bible changed. Okay, that's mean your God, Allah is not God, because the God who can protect his book is a stupid God, is fake God. I have my book. I challenge you to change it. Change it if you are a man. I'm not God. You cannot. I have copyright over it. We have a copies of it in the in the Congress library. Can you change it? You cannot. Your book. Here we go. Allah. He sent books according to you. Anyone can change it. Anyone can give finger to Allah. Stupid God. All right. Uh, West Virginia. Get lost. Anyone he come to here and he divide between the Christians, admin, block him right away. Anyone he play the game, Catholic, Protestant, he's a Muslim for me. He's a coward son of Muda. The Bible says, whoever believe in me and I will live. There's no Catholic, there's no Protestant. Those are the Muslims trying to divide us. Quran chapter 5 verse 14. Shaitan is working through Islam. Allah have a plan to divide the Christians. And he mentioned it clearly in the Quran. He will spread hatred between them. True Christian, he don't care really for being Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. True Christian is the one who follow Christ. Not a man, not a bishop. True Christian, he don't divide between the Christians. True Christian believe in one God, one Savior. Nothing else. No bishop, no priest, no Christian prince, nobody. All of us we are sinners. And those who follow sinners are scumbags. Stupid scumbags. 
So be aware of those false people who come here and they post stupid things, even if they may be claimed to be from, from different churches, but they are not Christians. They are just donkeys. Don't listen to them. They are trying to divide us. Mm, the only one who is saved is those who follow Catholic Church. Even if the word Catholic exists in the Bible, you stupid. Is the word Protestant exists in the Bible? You stupid, you stupid idiot. Is the word Orthodox exists in the Bible? What, what's wrong with those people? Stupid. You know, Taliban, you know Taliban? They are stupid like Taliban, literally. Drugs. Hashish. This is literally Hashish. They are like Muhammad. There's only one church. And that the church is us, the believers who believe in Jesus. Sect does not exist. Anyone who follows sect he is not following God. You can be going to a church, doesn't matter, Protestant, Catholic, no problem. That's not a problem. But if you believe that this church will save you, you're a stupid donkey. Church will not save you, Jesus will save you. Do we believe in that, people? Do you think world peace will ever raise upon earth? No. I believe that the earth will be demolished many times before the judgment day. Because any time now, we can have a war. Like, you know, those stupid Americans, they are just harassing Russia, and the Russian they are going so crazy. So if uh, this guy Putin, he hit just one bomb, the earth is gone. You know, people, they think if a war happened between America and Russia this time, it was going to be the second war too. No, that's it. Now they have extreme powerful nukes, not normal nukes. All the water in the earth will be poisoned, even if there's no nukes in the top of you. So this earth will not live long. And I'm not going to be sad for what will happen to this earth. People deserve it. They will get what they deserve. But those who believe in the Messiah, even when they die, they are alive. So don't feel sorry. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. <clears throat> who was an Imam Mahdi? He got to do coming back of Jesus in Islam. Well, you know, the Muslims themselves did not know who was an Imam Mahdi. And the madness of Muslims went so far to the point they believe that an Mahdi is the grandson of Peter. Crazy. You know? Mahdi is a fiction name, uh, and you know, uh, you see, Islam is a counterfeit of other religion. As an example, Muhammad he says there's twelve imams. Did you ask yourself why he said twelve imams? There's twelve disciples for Jesus. Simple. Twelve imam, twelve disciple, twelve tribes of Israel. It's a copy. It's a joke. It's a it's a fraud. Uh, all right any anything else anything else you know i believe that the one who will finish this earth is the american because those people they are really crazy and I'm talking about those who they are in the in the in the government they are really mentally ill I mean if you if you see what they say they are really mentally stupid like a, 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 a senator from the Republican not from the Democrat you say we should you should nuke Russia this guy what, what what's wrong with those people he should nuke Russia this guy he think Russia is like a cockroach we spray it and pressure will disappear. <laughs> I'm telling you. So, you know, pray, pray people that those things will not happen in your time. Those Americans, they are going to end this earth in a very bad way. Extremely bad way. Especially they are naive. They elect the most stupid ones to be their leaders. Until now, I did not witness one smart idiot. Smart idiot, huh? because you can't find a smart, just a smart. You have to be smart idiot become a president, including Trump, certified donkeys, all of them. So those Americans, and I'm talking about those who will be elected as a president, they are the most dangerous risk for this earth. They are war beasts.
they love war war is money for them that's why they worship it so pray that america the coming president will not be one of them otherwise those people are getting so close to russia and the russian you don't want to play with them nobody dare to play with them nobody uh, <clears throat> Uh, why Jesus called begotten son uh, you know okay uh, when you say you see uh, always when we try to explain uh, something we use a language right we use a language people they understand so the begotten is to explain who is Jesus to God the father but in the same time the Bible says that he is uh, he is the Alpha he is the Omega before Abraham I am. So there's no point for existence of this begotten son, which means he is God himself. In the same time, he is a son of God. So the word begotten is to explain to you what is the relationship between the son and the father. As simple as that, but it's not a human understanding. When we say the word son, we are not talking about God who got married. And then he have a son delivered from a woman. But the same word we use for us, when we use the word son, we mean somebody is born by sexual relationship. So using certain words does not mean they have the same meaning when it's come to Christ. All right? So Jesus is born of the Virgin Mary. But is that this is the moment he was exist? If this is the moment he was exist, this is mean the Trinity wasn't exist before. But Jesus answered that, he says, before Abraham I am. So his birth have nothing to do with his existence. His birth is just his coming to this earth in the form of a man. As simple as that. Emmanuel, God is with us. So you try sometime to understand Christ by using your human language, because it's what the Bible uses, human language. But always you need to understand that it has different meaning. Does have does God have a free will? Absolutely. God, not this. your question is wrong. You should say, does a human have a free will? Right? And if we have, that's mean God He gave it to us. Right? So human being, he have a free will in about his behavior, but you don't have a free will to live forever. Do you understand? So God He made a judgment for Adam and Eve to do to go out of heaven. And you will die that is not out of this is out of the question so in this point there's no free will death you will die mountain to mood so free will is about your decision in your life span what you do what you don't do in the lifespan you have but not if you will die or not all right I hope I answered you. Even though this is not the Bible channel, you can join us in the Bible channel so you can learn more, but it doesn't hurt. Always, if you want to understand Christianity, don't be a fool like the Mohammedan who take things into literal world. Like Jesus is son of God, that's mean God, he have a wife, her name is Mary, and they have a son. That is not what the Bible teaching. Right? That's not what the Bible teaching. Yeah. So, uh, uh, when we speak about, uh, and you know, when, when somebody, you might ask yourself, okay, well, do, do God even need to have a son? Who said that he need? This is how he is. God, he presents himself to us. He tells us about himself. He said, I am a three and one. What if God even won't decide to be? Uh, he's, he's five and one. Yeah, he is five and one. But this is what our Lord He said to us. The important is if He is a true God or not. The Son does not change anything. Still, is He true God or not? Right? Oh. Uh,
what is your opinion uh, about someone who do good things and don't agree with some of Allah SWT Muhammad teaching but she he is, st is still Islam I'm trying to understand what you are saying my friend even I supposed to yeah we should be in I mean it's getting late for me it's already already almost one o'clock what is your opinion about someone who do good things see my friend you know when a human being he say good things does that make us good I will give you an example about myself I don't want to hurt the feeling of anyone can I call myself a good person no I'm not human being always he fooled himself by saying claiming that he is good but all of us we knew you commit sin in everything you do in your life in your thought in your mind in your dreams in your wishes if not physically so doing good things is like somebody he have a thousand hole in his uh, jar and he put duct tapes and that will make it good jar it's not the holes are there so don't fool yourself with the word good thing for no one is good the bible confirmed that save god so there's no good things can make any person a good person because all of us we are sinners and still we are sinners a good person is the one who understand that he is a sinner and he repent and he fight his sin but there's no person is not a sinner and no person is perfect save god right so you do good or not still you will not be saved because simply you will never be good you will never no matter what you do even if you give donation you have the poor still you are a sinner you commit sin if there's anyone here he dare to say i never commit sin if there's any of us just ask yourself the question you will get the answer none all of us so if none of us without sin so how we can be good so the word good is relative and sometimes people they try to convince themselves that they are good people why well i help my neighbor okay that's good of you nice of you to do but still you're not good no because you did many things bad and now this is the one make you good a human being to make it simple for you it's like there's a page you know you are you are born like a white page in a, in a in a copy book and then you start having like lines you know and then you go and you buy an eraser try to erase it but it's not going to be erased in islam they believe in that in islam believe that if you do one good that will delete a bad the bad one you did this is stupid that it should encourage people to do evil you know like even Muhammad he said in the hadith if you say subhanallah 100 times Allah forgive your sin even if it's like in the form of the ocean just 100 times that's easy <laughs> see how easy it is that is stupid right in the Christianity we don't believe in such a garbage you say one or you say it 100 times a thousand times will not change anything because you did hurt people you did hurt yourself you did your crimes against god and praising god yet you are filthy what what is the benefit of this read, read this story here and love this is god teaching this is can be really god teaching that god will erase your sin if you say 100 times praise be to allah even if your sin is the same as the foam of the ocean imagine how dangerous this teaching is because now I can go it's the middle of the night find the woman walking alone rave her you know and then I come back home I say subhanallah 100 times you see how dangerous this this is satanic teaching this is literally satanic teaching
it will encourage people that don't worry about your sin go and do whatever you wish just say the word subhanallah 100 times and Allah will erase your sin even if it is the same as an ocean so what is left this is why you see in Islamic society morality is really horrible rape children kidnapping like you see in America there is bad America is a huge country and there's people coming from everywhere and in America if you fart you will be in CNN in the Middle East my friend scary stuff happen but never in TV like now it's more exposed because of social media and you know but it's always never in TV I remember once uh, uh, in, in, I was in the Middle East. A bus, bus full of children. And you know, in those Middle Eastern countries, when they take a, a student to journey, they put the children like, like sardine in the top of, I don't know how many inside the bus, like 60, 70, 80, I don't know. The whole bus, the whole children, they die. It's not in the TV news. There was an accident in the same day in Los Angeles. Three, four cars hit each other, but nobody died. It was in our news, TV news. Welcome to the Middle East. So they publish a news about what happened, an accident in the highway of Los Angeles, which we do not know where it is, and we have no idea what is that, and who care, and nobody die anyway. But we don't have the news about our children die in the same day. That is the Middle East. Can I know why did you find the hadith? Your website. This is sunnah.com. This is your Muslim website. You translate it, you publish it. You pay for it. If wrong, your religion is stupid, my friend. This is your website. And as you see, this hadith from Sahih Bukhari and Muslim. So it is very authentic. This hadith alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is Satan. Because this is what Satan he wants you to believe. Uh, what do you think about Christian? He don't want to eat pork. Don't eat pork. Who, who said that if you are a Christian, you have to eat pork? What does it have to do with Christianity? Since when Christianity is food you eat. Don't be shallow, my friend. God is not food. You see, when, when Jesus, he spoke to the Jews, he said to them, Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath. So the same for the food. Food was made for the man, not for God. You eat pork, you eat, you eat, you eat your own poopoo, who cares? That will not make you a good person. When God, he forbid them from eating certain food in the old days, because they live in the, in, in the open, in the field, those pigs, they eat a human being. Pigs, they eat anything. Dead bodies, sick bodies, illness, diseases they bring. Uh, so there was a reason. But nobody today is asking you to eat pork. Don't eat pork. Don't eat beef if you want to. Eat as you wish. You know. This is how nothing to do with, the, with being a believer or not. Uh, maybe you want to be vegetarian. So, okay. That's not a problem. Jesus says, it's not what go inside the mouth, make you dirty, but what come from your mouth. And that is very wise and truth, you know. Who care about what go inside your mouth? CP, do you believe in the Hadith? My friend, I don't believe in any garbage of Islam. I'm just showing you stupidity. Do I believe in the Quran? No. But I show you the Quran. You believe in it, not me. Why I need to believe in such a garbage like this? I don't believe it. If I, if I believe in the Hadith, uh, why I'm not a Muslim then? <laughs> but this is what your Muslim say. This is what your Prophet says. You Muslim used to have told us that the Messenger of Allah said this and then you ask me, do you believe in it? Crazy. Right? Anyway, my friends, don't be shallow and don't be the same as the Jewish rabbis when they are focusing in the city stuff. It's just as he exposed them. He says, oh, you know, you don't see. 
you know, like you, you see the little thing in the in the eye of your brother, but you don't see the big thing in your eye. So it's not food who will make you bad or good. It's not uh, it's not the clothes you wear. You know, what if you are poor? What if you are uh, what if you are a person live under stairs somewhere? I saw people living in living. In, I, honestly, I saw children sleeping inside a car tire. Inside, cars, tires throwing beside the road. Do that make them bad? What you can imagine? What they will eat? They will eat garbage. Are they bad in the eye of God? So don't be shallow. It's not food what make you good. What kind of understanding for life this life is? Whatever you eat, I have a bad news for you, is going to be transformed into shit. Sorry to say the word. Whatever you eat, so inside you there is shit. You eat pork, you eat shrimp, you eat bread. It doesn't matter. Wake up, people. <laughs> what is inside you is nothing but shit. But you are focusing on eating pork or not. It's going to transform into shit. It is beef. It is lamb. It is pork. It is salad. At the end, it is shit. Food is just to survive. So now the, the silly ones is the one who made God about food. <laughs> you know, like the Hindus. Uh, anyway, uh, sorry for saying such a language, but this is the truth. I mean, people sometimes they you know they force you to say it, but sometimes it, it hurts really to find how shallow human being is. Right? Very shallow. Nobody wants to think for a second and take. Breathe, breathe, think carefully. Is it really what this is what God care of what we eat? No, but if, if God he gave us orders, it's for our benefit. God don't need your food. Whatever you eat is going to end in one way. This is why Jesus says, it's not what go inside your mouth make you dirty, but what come from your mouth. So just watch your mouth. You are impressive. You know what Muslims don't know. Well, not only I know what Muslims don't know, I know what Allah don't know. Try me. <laughs> I know what Muhammad don't know. Try me. All right. So if our fan, why you don't ask your sheikh? to call me and uh, you know you just watch, sit and watch and see how good Islam is call your sheikh next time we go live on air bring your sheikh I don't know if you're living in India or Pakistan let him call Christian Prince and just sit and bring some popcorn and enjoy the time right anyway the best, the best book of wisdom is the word of the Lord, the Messiah. I advise you all to try to read at least one chapter a week. I mean, not, um, you know, not every day. A week when you have time. Uh, because it really gives you very good inspiration and it teaches you a lot of wisdom and will transform your brain to something really better. All right? So I want to say, guys, thank you. I'm really getting tired. Uh, it's already almost uh, one o'clock, as you see in my screen here. So I better go before it is too late to sleep. So I want to say thank you all for being here. And uh, I will try to come back tomorrow or today, I mean. 
or the day even after to celebrate with you the new year. Uh, I hope the Muslim they will have a we pray for the Muslims to have a better life for the coming year and to be healthy the same as all Christians Hindus Buddhas everybody every human being we pray that the Lord will open their eyes uh, we pray that the world will be protected from wars and war monger beast around this earth uh, we pray that the Muslims they will see that we are not really against them we are against the lies of Muhammad for us we've been ordered to love everybody even those who curse us and that is the most beautiful thing about Christianity and about Christ that will bring peace not Islam Islam is the opposite of peace and nothing is more beautiful than people love each other that's why Jesus said love your enemy bless those who curse you so my friends one sentence of Jesus Christ is better than all the books of wisdom in Islam and any any if you can quote even a book of wisdom just one sentence love your enemy the one who cannot love his enemy don't understand how to love the enemy he understands nothing yet about God and he never had one God is good and God is love and God never fail so love your enemy you win have enemies both of you you die you and your enemy you will end in one place so we live with love and we will die with it those who live with hate they will die with their hate and i feel so sorry for you because it's going to be a very horrible death your hate is your enemy thank you god bless you and see you soon again I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 